Welcome to the Saturday Morning Community Forum. Uh, I'm excited today. We have so much to cover and we're moving towards summer. It's getting warmer and, and so we are moving towards our convention as well. Today we're praying for the family of Ed Callahan of Callahan Funeral Home on the loss of his twin brother. And we're also praying for the Staples family, Mavis Staples and the entire Staples family on the loss of their brother, Purvis Staples. Both of these families have been with PUSH across the years, supported us, and so we're praying for their strength during these Valley moments. On a good note, we want to celebrate 90th birthday of Willie Mays, a legend, baseball legend. I mean, he's had the six most home runs of any baseball player in American history. And so happy birthday to Willie Mays. We also celebrate the birthday of Minister Louis Farrakhan, who this week did a tribute. Many of you may or may not know he's an accomplished musician, a violinist by training. So he did a violin concerto. And so we say happy birthday to Minister Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam. Also, we want to celebrate teachers. All teachers have had to make a dramatic shifts in light of COVID. They've had to learn, many of them, how to teach remotely for almost a year. And we know that commitment to teaching is a calling. And so we thank every teacher for their service, for their sacrifice, and for their support of our children. We really want you to know we appreciate you. Push Excel says to teachers, we know that you're committed to making sure that every child that crosses your path has access to a high quality public education when they reach your classroom. We want to pause to thank attorney Barbara Arnwine for coordinating a massive motorcade in 100 cities all across the nation, including Chicago, where our national headquarters is. Barbara Onwine, the Transformative Justice Coalition, led by Reverend Jackson and the Rainbow Push Coalition. We have launched a massive motorcade all across America to highlight the need for national voting legislation. You remember that voting rights has been challenged for a number of years. You may or may not know that 47 states have passed voter suppression laws. Therefore, we need federal voting rights legislation like we've had in the past, like the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which was gutted by a Supreme Court case. We now ask you to urge every congressperson, every senator, to pass what we affectionately call the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, but it is shown as SB1 and HB4. House Bill 4. We want your Congress people, wherever you are, to push this legislation through the United States House of Representatives and through the Senate. We need a federal right, protected right to vote now so that every vote will count and everyone can be counted because everyone will be able to vote without any tactics to suppress their vote. Last week we told you that Mrs. Jackson will receiving her honorary doctorate of humane letters from her alma mater, North Carolina A&T. We're just gonna show you some highlights of that great honor. Congratulations again, Dr. Jacqueline Jackson. Aggie born, Aggie bred, and when I die, I'll be Aggie dead. And I promise never to say that to anybody, but I've heard it all over the country. A&T is a very important part of my life because not only did my husband and I attend this university, but I have five children and I was able to convince three to uh, return to A&T because I felt three things that shaped the character, their character 
in uh, in their living experience uh, is present here, and I'm sure it is it is still here. Uh, that's uh, humility, self reliance, and of course the pride that exists on this campus. When I arrived at a and at 17, I really wanted to be somebody. I knew everything about everything, and I was free at last when I stepped on that campus. Aggie Pride, one, two, three. Aggie, Aggie Pride. Pride. I know you're wondering, where is Reverend Jackson? He was in North Carolina uh, with Mrs. Jackson. He is now in Atlanta. He's meeting with uh, Georgia clergy, addressing some issues of economic justice and voting rights. He's met with ministers across the state of Georgia. One concern is, what do they do with corporations who are supporting voter suppression laws? Without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our leader and someone that has given his life to service, to advance our community. We are so fortunate. And I was telling Reverend last night when we were talking about this meeting, I said, if Maynard Jackson was alive, he would be in this meeting this morning. Okay, he'd be sitting right over here where my banker's sitting, Brother Andrew. Thank you for serving payroll, Doc. Oh, job job on Friday. We got my banker in the house all as well. You need to ask him back. Thank you, sir. And so I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I'm a still Jasper Williams line. I'm a Jesse Craig. Because <laughs> he said, whatever Jesse say, it's going to be in our best interest. So without any further ado, I'm going to allow my leader, my friend, my mentor, Reverend Jackson, share with us what's on his heart this morning in terms of the city of Atlanta. With Reverend Jackson, this is Atlanta leadership, and we're asking you to help give us direction and guidance on how we need to organize on the ground as you travel around the country and around the world and deal with the leaders and continue working on the system while we work in the system and through the system. Good morning, everybody. Today's Republican of yesterday's Democrats. It changed names. It changed uniform. The game say the game is the same. The see, game is the same. The game is the same. The game is the same. They, they changed uniforms so that the, the, the biggest that we fought down here before, all those are now Republicans. And that a strange coalition between the Northern would be the enlightened Democrats, uh, the Republicans like uh, Rockefeller and Percy and that group, they wouldn't fit in this now. They're, they're, not, follow say they're not following. They're not following. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. They're following. They're following. Jefferson Davis. Jefferson Davis. Yeah, the Confederacy. The Confederacy. The, their belief is, is in the line, slavery, secession, segregation, sedition, and supremacy. This is slavery, slavery, secession, secession, sedition, sedition, segregation, segregation, and supremacy. supremacy. That, that, that's, that's the point of view. That, that's what they believe. They, they, they rally around that. These these forces now they, they fall for slavery. They fall for segregation. They fall for secession. Engage in sedition. Believe in white race supremacy. That's that, that's their ideology. And that that to our country part, of course, Lincoln was a Republican. Emancipation Proclamation, big deal. Most of us have not really read it, Paul. The leaders, we should read it and understand that first time we ever hit the soil in America as freed people, any of us, was the other uh, side. Uh, he said, you're, you're free to be citizens. You're free to be citizens. You, you join the military. You join the military. You have the right to man ships. You have the right to man ships. If you leave the plantation, you leave the plantation. Everybody tries to stop you. 
Right you have the right to fight them. You have the right to fight shoot them. them. Yeah, shoot them. He said, man, that's a heavy piece of document there. We, we, we kind of hit it, Emancipation Proclamation. It's a big deal. And they, were, they, were, they won the war. The, the North would not fight the enslaver because they had so much slave in, slavery in the North. They fought to save the Union. Blacks nice fought the enslaver. Kind of converging agenda. So when it was over, the reason why the South, the South was winning, they was as far as north as Antietam, Maryland, they was in Gettysburg. 200,000 blacks joined the Union Army. We beat the South. So we beat the South. The deal was sealed, but we, we saved the Union, we won the South. So said Lincoln, Lincoln freed us. Freed us. We saved Lincoln. We saved Lincoln. I'm confused about that. He, he, he freed us. He, he did a general. He said, 100 days out, if y'all don't, don't change, I will, uh, I'll free them, them who reverence your economic backbone. This, this is religion, y'all. True. True. This ain't just politics, this is religion. Right. Yeah, They're blinded by their religion. Right. And their religion is race supremacy. Race supremacy. Secession. Secession. Sedition. 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 Segregation. Segregation. Slavery. Slavery. Keep them five minutes in your mind, because that's, 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 that's the line of thought. Now, uh, today's Democrats and yesterday's Black Republicans. You have a big moment here. The mayor, the mayor have resigned so quickly, threw us in chaos, but it need not be chaotic. We follow a formula. So formulas matter. Formulas matter. Jack and my wife was 50, 58 years now. When we first got married, Jack couldn't cook biscuits. <laughs> it was a key to our marriage, you know, the biscuit thing. So, she would try to cook them, bless her heart. We had a new stove. <laughs> my mother, grandma had a stove, we had three legs on it, and brick on the one leg to keep balance. <laughs> and and uh, grandma, her biscuits would always rise. Jack was, Jack was like an uh, unleavened dough, like <laughs> uh, <laughs> communion biscuits. <laughs> but Jack, Jack was beautiful, we were in love, we had two boys in one year, they weren't twins. We were very much in love. Love, say love don't make business rise. Love don't make business rise. Bacon powder. Bacon powder. Make business rise. Bacon powder. So, so no matter how much, how we had better stove than grandma had, more education grandma had, grandma couldn't read and write, never went to school in her life. We had all, but we couldn't make business rise. Formula. Georgia uh, is really on our minds now. A lot of men is the capital of black America. When I came out there, I didn't want to come back because it's the decision you have to make. But this is the capital of black America. Yes, sir. Yeah. As, as, as none goes, so goes America, African America. You, you are a frame of reference. You have a big, big, you have a national responsibility. Whenever, whenever we move, we move with, power, with power, we succeed. We succeed. Now, my point is that you, you, the stakes are so high. And that means so much to us. You, you, this is the, the capital of black America. Whatever Harlem once was, because some members went to Harlem, Atlanta's our capital. We look, we look to Atlanta for leadership, direction. Georgia, when you have you have a Warnock and also running for the Senate, you have to think about Sonia Goodman Cheney. Two Jews and a black died in, that, in Mississippi, right? They fulfilled the dreams of Sonia Goodman Cheney. So, so all this stuff is connected. History matters. History matters. God has not missed a day. Since you start making days. Since making days. So, so everything is connected. Everything is connected. Right? Now, you may not know the history, but it exists. Yeah. Everything is built upon something else. Uh, in one sense, no, no rule of thought, no Dr. King. No Dr. King, no. No Billy I mean, so, so, so everything is connected. So four stages are our struggle. Four stages. Four stages. Number one, in slavery. Okay. Number two, in Jim Crow. Jim Crow. Number three, Right to vote. Right. You can be out of slavery, out of Jim Crow, and starve to death. But you have access to capital, capital. Industry, industry, technology, technology. and deal flow. Yeah. We're free, free. not equal. God will give God, you. God will give you as far as you can see. As far as you can see. Can't see it. If you can't see it, can't have it. You can't have it. So faith. Faith. The only thing that you see around the curve. Before, 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 before you get to the corner. Before you get to the corner. That I preach, you know, you, 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 you.